Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I will take a look at some free resources for web designers. Building a website can be a time consuming task, but fortunately there are some free resources and tools for web designers that can help you speed up your process. So let's get started. We'll start with free resources for images and illustrations. Images are important components of your website and they can make your website look good and help you make the visitors stay on your website longer. It can also be a great way to explain complex things to a visitor. So the first website I have here for you is called Pixabay. It is one of the most popular resources for free images. So here we can see it says over 1 million high quality images and videos. Just search for something over here and uh, you'll find a lot of high quality images over here so if you go to one of these images we can see it says free for commercial use and no attribution required so you can just go ahead and download this image and use it in your website pixabay also has a lot of different things like if you go over here we can find vector graphics and illustrations so if you search for illustrations we can see illustrations of technology listed over here and uh, we can also find videos on Pixabay. So here we can see we have these videos over here and uh, we can download this and uh, use it in our website. In the same way, there's also another website called Unsplash. This is also a great resource for getting free images for your website. You can just go ahead and search and download the images. Unsplash also has this cool service called Unsplash Source. So if you go to source.unsplash.com, you can find this website and uh, if you go down over here, we can see that if you just add this URL to your image element, then you can get a random image from this user over here with these dimensions. You can also get images with different search terms. So if you go ahead and enter this URL in the image tag, then you will get random images of nature and water in your website. So you don't have to search for images and then download them and then use it. You can just go ahead and use this URL so it will save a lot of your time. Another free resource for images is called Pexels. So just go to pexels.com and search for the images you want and you will find a lot of high quality images over here as well. You can find illustrations on Pixabay as well, but there is a dedicated website for open source illustrations. You can find a lot of quality illustrations over here. So just go ahead and uh, click on browse now. And you can see all these quality illustrations over here. So here we can see we can change the color as well. And uh, you can also search for something over here. So we'll just type web design and you can find a lot of illustrations over here you can also go ahead and download it as svgs so now you can use this illustration on your website without losing any quality whenever you get started with a new project you tend to need some inspiration so here are some resources that can help you with your design inspiration here's a website called dribble and uh, you can find a lot of quality design work by different awesome designers over here you can also go ahead and click on these uh, categories over here so if you click on animation you can see these animations over here so if you just click on that so you can see this cool animation over here you can get inspirations from this you can also go ahead to web design and you'll find a lot of awesome designs over here you can also search for something over here and uh, you'll get these results so this is a great website for getting design inspiration. Another website is called behance.net. This is also similar to Dribble. You can go ahead and search for something you want and you will get awesome designs by different designers. Then you have this website called awards. So if you go ahead to this website awards.com, you can find a lot of awesome websites over here. So they have some kind of competitions over here. So you can find links of websites which were the previous winners. So in this way you can get to know what is the latest trend that is going on in design. And this is also a great resource for design inspiration because these are actual websites. So you can go to the website 
by clicking on the link and you can see the design live on a website. Another cool website for design inspiration is called One Page Love. So here you can find a lot of one page designs over here. So just browse through this and you'll get a lot of design ideas for your website. The next thing we'll look at is colors. Colors are one of the most important parts of a design. Choosing the right color is crucial. Choosing a bad color scheme can ruin the whole design. So dedicated tools for color can help you is the process. So here are some of them. FlatUIColors.com is a great website to get awesome color schemes. So you can go ahead and select any of these color schemes from here. So if you just go to this, you can find all these colors over here. So if you just click on any one of them, it has been copied to the clipboard and you just have to paste it in your design software or in your code. Another cool resource for colors is called Coolers. So this is basically a color generator. So just click on this start the generator button and you'll be presented with this uh, color scheme over here and you also have the hex values of all these colors. Now all you have to do is press spacebar to generate new color schemes. So let's do it. And uh, here we can see a new color scheme. Let's do it again. And uh, here we have different color schemes. So once you feel that you can use one of these colors for your website, you can go ahead and lock that color and you can even drag and move that to any position you want. And then if you press spacebar, all the other colors get randomly generated and we have this locked color over here. And once you get another good color, you can lock that as well and uh, then move on to the next color. And there are also other options like uh, you can go ahead and select alternative shade for this color. So if you want a darker one, you can select that from here. If you want a lighter one, you can select one from here. And you can also adjust the colors by changing the saturation, hue and brightness. Alright, so this is also a great online tool for generating colors for your website. Another awesome tool for color is called Adobe Color from Adobe. And you can go ahead and uh, drag these circles around this color wheel and you can select the colors. So there are different options over here like monochrome, triad, complementary. So this can also be a great tool for you if you have some basic knowledge about colors. And another cool thing about Adobe color is that you can extract color from an image. So if you click on this, you can drag and drop your file over here. Alright, so I have this image over here. Let me just drag and drop this over here. And if we scroll down, we can see the colors that it has generated from this image. We can move this uh, around and you can select different colors from the image. Now let's take a look at some design tools for web designers. If you want to design something basic like a logo or a header or a thumbnail or anything like that, you can use this website called Canva. So just go ahead and create an account. It has a free version as well so you can go ahead and uh, search for something you want to create if you type blog banner we can see we have this option to create a blog banner so let's go ahead and click on that here we can see we have a lot of templates over here which you can use to create our designs so let's go ahead and click on this and uh, here we can see we have this uh, design over here we can go ahead and change this text and uh, create our own designs and after that you can just go ahead and click on download and uh, download the image from here and if you want to actually design the website then you can use this tool called Adobe XD it has a free version and you can use it to create the design for your website it has a lot of features to make designing easier for you and it is a widely used tool for designing by a lot of designers you can create a lot of artboards for uh, different pages of your website or you can also create a design for mobile and it is a great tool for creating mockups for your website. Another awesome design tool is called Figma. It is a web based software and uh, you can create an account on Figma and start using it on a browser. It also has a desktop version and uh, you can go ahead and download that and uh, then log into your account and all your designs will be visible on the desktop version as well. And I've been using Figma and uh, Adobe XD for quite some time now and I can say that they are awesome and they make the task of designing much simpler. 
another important thing to consider when designing a website is the typography. So there are a lot of great fonts out there but not all of them are free. So you can go to Google fonts and find free fonts for your website. So you can just search for a font over here. You can also go ahead and uh, type something you want to see how it looks on that font. You can even go ahead and filter those fonts by categories like serif or sans serif or display. And uh, you can also select the language. You can also filter with the font properties like the number of styles, the thickness and all these things. I have a dedicated video on using Google fonts on my channel. You can go ahead and watch that. I will leave the link in the description below. Icons are also necessary when you design a website. You may need icons for social media buttons, menu buttons or even for some features of your product. One of the most popular resources for icons is called Font Awesome. You can go ahead and uh, click on start for free and enter your email ID over here and you will get a kit code and uh, you can use that code to get icons from Font Awesome. You can find a lot of icons on Font Awesome. You can just search for the icons over here and you'll get a code which you can use on your web page to display the icon. Another resource for free icons is called material icons. So you can go ahead and uh, check out these icons over here. And if you like one of these icons, just click on that and you can download the SVG and you can use that on your website. A lot of times you need to have some dummy data to design. So you can go to this website called lipsum.com and uh, you can select the number of paragraphs or words or anything like that. And then just click on generate lorem ipsum and you can get this lorem ipsum text over here. You can just go ahead and copy this from here and uh, use it in your design. Adobe XD and Figma have some plugins that you can use to generate lorem ipsum text. So if you're using those tools, then you don't need to go to this lipsum.com and copy this text from here. Another resource to get uh, dummy data is called mockaroo.com. So you can get data like ID, first name, last name, email, gender. And if you go over here, you can see that we have a lot of different options like car make, car model and uh, color, country code and a lot of different types of data. So once you select the type of data you want, just go ahead and select the format you want. So if you want JSON data, then go ahead and click on JSON and you can download the JSON file over here. Or if you want, you can also preview that. So here we can see all the dummy data that we got from mockaroo.com. So this can also save you a lot of time in designing. Now, a lot of times you want to just test some code and you don't want to create a whole new project for that on your desktop. Then you can go ahead and use online tools for writing your code and viewing the result. So there's this online editor called CodePen. So you have to just sign up for an account and you can create your own projects over here. And you can see the results live on the screen. Another online editor is called JS Fiddle. So you can go ahead and uh, write some text over here. And you can view the result over here. So just click on run. And here we can see the result of our code. You can also add some CSS over here and uh, the result will be updated when you run the code. Another online code editor is called REPL.IT. So just click on create new REPL. And here you have the option of selecting a lot more languages. So you have Python, Node.js, C, Java and all. You also have HTML, CSS and JS. So let's just click on that and click on create REPL. And if you type something over here, we can see that on the right of the screen. You can also test JavaScript over here. So if you go to console and uh, if I go over to script.js and if I type console.log hello and when i click on run we can see the result over here so you can use these online editors to quickly create something and test it on the fly if you create a lot of projects and even make a lot of changes to your existing projects then there's a good reason that you should use a service called github to manage your code github is the most popular version control system and uh, you can learn how to use github and it will help you a lot in your web design process Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope that these free resources will help you speed up your web design process. Let me know in the comments below which is your best free resource for web design. So if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel to get the latest video notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.